okay so once you guys are in motion so this is what you are going to see like i already discussed with you guys this is the main timeline this is the main interface and this is the transition one and the transition two after that it is pretty simple for making a list transition all you have to do is play with the parameters of filters called bat tv that is the main one which you guys need so go to the filters panel right here and click on bat tv there are other variations also such as bat film effect which you can use to make a transition too but for this we're going to use the bat tv effect so drag the bat tv effect onto the timeline just like this and as you could see it is already applied on both of the clips and one thing i would recommend you guys is that click on this button right here which magnifies the timeline just a little bit why we are doing this is because whenever you are applying any kind of keyframes it will be shown right here so if we show a small sample of keyframes just like this you guys can see that on a timeline itself however if this is turned off you guys won't be able to see the keyframes seeing the keyframes is extremely essential for making your transitions so make sure to turn this on so once you have applied your bat tv effect onto the timeline just like this this is a sample which you are going to see and as you can see it is not looking that good at the moment so then what you guys have to do is you have to go to the inspector panel and go to the filters panel where you are going to play with all the effects and settings of this particular bat tv effect so here you guys can see waviness roll static color sim etc and you guys can play with it to make your transition pop out a little bit more so i've increased the waviness a little bit and as you could see it is already looking a lot better and I'm going to play with the other settings too, just like this. And you know, make the transition as cool as possible and make it as unique as possible. So this is looking good on its own right now. But as you could see, the intensity of the transition is even throughout. And that is not good for transitions. It should be a gradual thing. Let me show you an example by exporting this transition as a sample file. So once we are in Final Cut Pro, I'm going to just grab this transition, which we have saved right now. And then after that, drag it between the clips just like this and as you could see this is the gray area which i was talking about and as you could see the transition is not looking that much gradual that much smooth because the starting frame of the transition is a little bit not aligned properly right it is glitchy again this might work out as a transition but for me it is not the best one this can get so i'm going to align the transition a little bit more by changing this particular setting so go to the inspector panel and then go to the roll panel and then reduce the roll all the way to minus 100 or plus 100 and then as you could see it will be aligned right now because the arrow is in the center of the frame so the whole video is aligned properly and then because of that it will be aligned totally properly with the other clips too in the main timeline just like the example on the screen right now so once you've played with all the settings aligned the settings properly just like the way i showed right now then the next one which is important is the mixture the mids panel right here so the mids panel basically is controlling the entire intensity of the entire effect so say for example this is like the opacity of the effect which you have put it here so this is the opacity of the bat tv effect so here what you're going to do is in order to make a gradual transition we are going to set a keyframe to the mixture so maybe what you have to do is just go a few frames later just like this set a keyframe and set it to zero and then go to the center of the timeline just like this the point where both the clips are meeting just like this intersecting point and then increase the keyframe all the way to 100 percent and then go to the ending of the timeline and then reduce the mids all the way to zero percent once more so you are getting a gradual glitch transition just like this and as you could say this is looking good on its own right now However, I'm going to spice this transition up by adding more effects to it, more filters to it. Like the way I mentioned before is that this is all about a permutation and combination game. So you guys have to learn different effects which go along with this effect and make a brand new transition. Again, bad TV transition alone is a very good transition, but I'm going to spice this up and add a bad film effect over this as well. And after that, I'm going to add another earthquake effect over this as well so that it can be spiced up a little bit more and make a brand new transition, which you have never seen before. So just drag the bad film effect into the timeline, just like this. You guys can play with all the settings if you guys want to, but for me, the default setting is good enough. And then I'm going to play with the mixture of this bad film effect as well. And then set a keyframe too, just like this. Go to this frame, set a keyframe, set it to zero, then go to the center frame, Set a keyframe and set it to 100, go to the ending of the timeline and then set a keyframe, set it back to zero. And then you're going to have bad TV effect plus bad film effect transition too. 
After that, I'm going to spice this further and add that earthquake effect too to give it a little bit more shakiness. So drag the earthquake effect onto the timeline just like this. After that, what you have to do is, as you could see, the mixture is still not yet there. So you have to set the keyframe to the mixture. I want to set some settings too for the horizontal and vertical shake as well as the twist just like this. So play with the settings and see what the effect actually does. Otherwise, making a transition is not going to be possible. So as you can see, this looks pretty good on its own right now. So I'm going to just go to the first part of the timeline and then go to the mixture and set the mixture to zero and set a keyframe just like this. Go to the intersecting point, set the keyframe back to 100 go to the ending and set a keyframe back to zero and then boom your new earthquake bad film bad tv transition is ready and this is a very cool transition and it looks pretty good on its own now if you guys want to save this transition then go to file then click on save as after that you have to choose the category and then choose a subcategory to the category if you guys want to in this case for me it is not necessary the category is good enough and then choose a transition name and then save it up that is it. You guys won't have to click on include unused media or saved preview media, etc. It is not needed. Just click on publish. And then after that, what you have to do is just go to Final Cut Pro. So go to the transition panel where you have saved the category name and then find the category, then choose your transition and drag it between the clips. And as you can see, it looks pretty good with a proper sound effect. This is going to be looking super cool. And I'm sure this is going to help you guys. And this is how we make a transition in motion so that you guys can use it in Final Cut Pro.